Paris CDG is one of the widest European platform with four runways, nearly 110 kilometers of taxiways, four ground and five apron frequencies. Taxiing to and from Charles de Gaulle's two sets of parallel runways can be a real challenge. With an average taxi time of 16 minutes, the specificities of the platform and its different areas of responsibility need to be perfectly identified to ensure safe and efficient operations at all times. Let's follow four different EasyJet flights to and from all of Paris CDG sets of runways to show the complexity of ground operations, but also provide you with all the basic real-time need to know for a safe and smooth taxi on Europe's number one platform. April Bonjour, Easy 27, Mike Delta, Step Delta 2, we are ready. Easy 27, Mike Delta, good day from Delta 2, push and start approved, the blue line facing west. Remember that a pushback clearance has a one minute validity only. If you have a doubt, call ATC. Push start approved, Delta 2, blue line facing west, Easy 27, Mike Delta. Pushback directions are of utmost importance as they ensure that your aircraft can maneuver out of the gate and avoid any collision. They would also prevent from causing damage from engine jet blast. Any pushback direction mistake should be reported on the frequency immediately. To avoid any risk of collision, you should not enter the maneuvering area without having been instructed to do so. Don't forget to hold that you're given intermediate holding point if no clearance has been issued by ground control. Good morning, is it 27 Mike Delta taxi second right November, stop middle one. Second right on November, stop middle one, is 27 Mike Delta. Easy 27 Mike Delta, contact ground 121, this model 610, good day. When approaching the middle intermediate holding point, if no further taxi clearance is obtained, hold and call ground. Easy 27 Mike Delta, hello, taxi via Quebec, calling point Quebec 4, runway 27 left. Calling point Quebec 4, 27 left, easy 27 Mike Delta. We are now approaching the departure runway. You will be invited to monitor the tower frequency, meaning that the tower controller will be the one to initiate first contact. Easy 27 Mike Delta, maintain holding point Quebec 4, monitor tower 119 decimal 250. Bye bye. Quebec 4, monitor tower 119 250, easy 27 Mike Delta, roger in. Make sure you're holding short of the runway at the correct holding point. Outside of low visibility conditions, Holding point CAT 1 should be strictly respected. Easy 27 Mike Delta, bonjour from Quebec 4, line up runway 27 left and wait. Bonjour, 27 left, Quebec 4, line up and wait, easy 27 Mike Delta. Easy 27 Mike Delta, wind 350 degrees 5 knots, runway 27 left, cleared for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 27 left, easy 27 Mike Delta. The runway is considered as fully vacated once you have crossed the CAT1 holding point markings. If no clearance has been given after vacating the outer runway, 
hold short of the inner runway and wait for a clearance. TG 59 November Papa, hold short of runway 27 left, holding point Kilo 3. Watch out, 27 left, Kilo 3, TG 59 November Papa. A thorough readback at all times, and most particularly when close to an active runway, is key for safety. Runway incursions are critical safety threats. We're counting on you. Easy 59 November Papa, cross runway 27 left after crossing 121610, bye bye. Cross 27 left, the other side 121610, easy 59 November Papa. Once instructed, expedite your crossing. All flight crews should be aware and reminded that a runway is vacated once its protected area has been cleared. Once both runways have been vacated, if no radio contact with the ground can be achieved, continue to taxi following the published taxi route until you manage initial contact. When vacating, you will have priority over all traffic taxiing on the first parallel taxiway. Thereafter, priority to the right applies. We're approaching Terminal 1. Let's make a short focus on its main specificities. First, Remember not to taxi between the satellites. When on taxiway Alpha towards November Alpha 2, remember that no left turn is allowed after November Alpha 2 towards November to avoid getting stuck in the mud after what is a sharp right angle turn. According to your stand, the corresponding apron frequency should be ready in the box. ATC will only instruct you to switch without indicating this frequency. The 5 9 November Papa, contact the apron, have a good day. Apron over, is in November Papa. Apron bonjour, is the 5 9 November Papa. Easy 59 November Papa, bonjour taxi via Tango Bravo 2 Centerline Bravo 1. Tango Bravo 2 Centerline Bravo 1, Easy 59 November Papa. Once close to your stand, if it is not equipped with a docking guidance system, or if no marshaller is in sight, do not initiate the final turn and wait. Let's now leave the north part of the field and focus on the south set of runways. Easy 34 Juliet Victor, Bravo 1 request. Easy 34 Juliet Victor, bonjour. Start and push approved, orange line facing east. Start and push approved, orange line facing east. Easy 34 Juliet Victor. On Terminal 2 apron area, you may be required to push on the orange line, the central line, or the blue line. The orange and blue lines are used to allow simultaneous pushback operations for aircraft of a wingspan of 36 meters maximum. In case of non-compliant pushback, advise ATC immediately. We're getting close to the departure runway. High intensity runway operations are a concept of operations recently introduced at Paris Charles de Gaulle. 
This concept aims at encouraging flight crews to spend the minimum needed time on the runway and thus allow safe and improved runway throughput. When approaching the holding point, if you are not fully ready, advise ground frequency. Once you're ready, be reactive and initiate takeoff as fast as possible. You should have the departure frequency ready in the box. However, do not switch on your own and wait for the controller's instructions to do so. AZ-3-4-2-8, big tech contact departure, over. Back over, 3 4 2 In specific cases, either one of the two parallel runways may become unserviceable and a mixed mode runway operation is applied. High intensity runway operations are also applied on arrival. Plan the most appropriate exit. Always execute a normal landing. Adjust braking to exit at the appropriate speed. High speed turnoffs have been designed to vacate the runway at a maximum speed of 50 knots. Easy 78 Whiskey Uniform, contact ground 121 decimal 810. That's 121 810, Easy 78 Whiskey Uniform, bonjour. Easy 78 Whiskey Uniform, bonjour. Taxi Tango November Echo Stop Tango Bravo 2. Tango November Echo Stop Tango Bravo 2, Easy 78 Whiskey Uniform. V78 uh, Whiskey Uniform, uh, reaching Tango Bravo 2, switch apron, uh, good day. Tango Bravo 2 to apron, EC7, I'm Whiskey Uniform, all right. Apron bonjour, EC78 Whiskey Uniform. V78 Whiskey Uniform, uh, good afternoon. Taxi Tango Bravo 2, center line, stand Delta 24. Tango Bravo 2, center line, stand Delta 24, EC78 Whiskey Uniform. A maneuvering area is that part of an aerodrome to be used by aircraft for takeoff, landing and taxiing. ATC shall provide separation and is responsible for anti-collision inside this area. Inside the apron area, crews are responsible for anti-collision with other aircraft and pushback tugs. All other vehicles, apart from safety units on emergency intervention, will give way to all mobile aircraft. In any case, look out. The essence of ground operations on a significant size platform should always remain the same. If you have a doubt, don't. Just call ATC. Okay, I'm going to go over to the other one.